It's the unicorn here and today I have Jenny with me. Now you guys might ask who is Jenny? And Jenny is a stuffed animal that I got as a gift when I was a very young kid. I don't remember how old I was. Jenny is going to be my emotional support doggy. <laughs> Whenever I'm doing makeup, she's just going to sit back there and she's going to dictate everything that I'm doing and hopefully not judge me. Are you gonna judge me? Now, today's makeup is obviously inspired by my outfit. So we have a pinkish brown um, in the crease and the green in the middle. So it's kind of like, it's kind of using the blending techniques of a halo eye, but it's not a halo eye because halo eyes have to be lighter and brighter in the middle. And this isn't necessarily brighter. So yeah, I like to call this guacamole tie-dye, you know? I want to call it guacamole for some reason. Like, holy moly, guacamole, you know? Aha, okay. <laughs> anyway, if you guys want to see how I got this look, then keep watching. First things first, I have to prime the skin. And as you can see, my skin is really upset today. So I had to pile on concealer to get rid of everything. I'm dabbing everything in using my fingers because it's going to warm the product up and really make it sink into the skin. Next, I'm using this super sparkly palette. It's from the Etude House and it just has all these warm neutral shades inside. I'm going in with this dark brown for the eyebrows. I like to underline my brows first. And after I shape the body, I like to flick little hairs on the head of the brow to make it look a bit more realistic. And then I'm going to take the tiniest bit of concealer and further shape the brow. I'm priming the eyelids. I'm going to be using bright colors today, so this step is essential. Next, I'm using this pinkish brown color and I'm going to blend that in the crease area. And I'm going to extend it out onto the brow bone just a little bit to give it that winged shape. I'm using this reddish brown shade and I'm deepening up the crease. Next, I'm going in with a caramel brown shade and I'm going to target blend that color on the outer and inner corners of my eyes. Da -da -dan! And now we're going in with the James Charles palette. Now this palette has a beautiful assortment of colors. I love the shade range, but today I'm just going to be using these two green colors. And I'm using the lighter green first. I'm dabbing that in the center of my eyes with my fingers. I'm going back in with the caramel brown shade and I'm just blending that on the perimeter of the green. Next, I'm piling on the green again, and we have to do this step multiple times. Back and forth, back and forth, until we get the perfect amount of pigmentation and the perfect amount of blend. Next, I'm going with a dark forest green shade, and I'm placing that right in the center of the lighter green. And I'm using the lighter green on a blending brush to blend the two greens together seamlessly. Next, I'm going in with this light pink color, and I'm going to highlight the inner corners. Now, I was very surprised by the pigmentation of this color because normally these pale shades don't really give you that pigment. I'm also using a firm blending brush just to take care of the outer edges. Next, I'm using this flesh-toned eyeshadow, and I'm going to highlight the brow bone as well as blend out the perimeter of the shadows. Next, I'm going in with foundation. I'm using this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, and I've heard amazing things about this. Unfortunately, I didn't think it was that great, but that has to do something with my skin condition today, so I am going to definitely give it another go. 
Next, I'm going to bronze the face, and obviously my face is already bronzed and blushed and highlighted, but my camera stopped recording, so I'm just simulating the brush strokes again. Don't forget to contour the nose, because we want a defined face. Next is blush, and I'm just using very light feathery strokes because I don't want to go overboard with it. And next, highlight. I'm using this shade from the James Charles palette, and it is beautiful. I'm just using a flat brush to work it into the skin. Look at that glow, baby. I am curling the lashes. I'm not going to use any falsies today, so I'm really going to try and give my lashes that oomph. I'm using a waterproof mascara because it holds the curl better, and I feel like it's better for straight lashes. I'm really getting every single lash. No lash left behind. Next, I'm going to line my lips using this Coral Nude Lip Liner. My lips are pretty asymmetrical, so I'm just trying to get that shape right. And then I'm going in with one of my favorite nudes in the whole entire world, Velvet Teddy by MAC. Next is lip gloss. I'm using this super glossy one. I'm really liking glossy lips lately. And we're done! Ta-da! And this is the final look. And I didn't expect it to look this good, but it looks amazing. And I hope you guys like this look as well. And yeah, we need to talk about this. The James Charles palette, obviously. Now, I had this sitting in my drawer for quite a while, and I don't know why I didn't reach for it, but Today I was just looking for some new things to play with and <laughs> some new things to play with and I oh shit I'm just dropping everything okay I was just looking for some new things to play with and I stumbled across this palette I know I'm late to jump on the hype but it's such a good palette I mean Morphe always comes through with the quality the pigmentation and I just really, really like the uh, colors in this palette because there are everyday colors and there are like some out there colors and I love me some out there colors. And speaking of out there colors, I know that green is intimidating and sometimes feels like too much, but what I say is if you work it, you can make anything work and i'm totally gonna rock this look today and i hope you guys do too and as always i will see you in the next video Annyeong.